So the Father Fred Foundation has been around for 35 years meeting the essential needs of people in our community with basics like food, clothing, and financial assistance to help keep utilities on or rent or things like that. Today we're doing something very special um, that has really grown over the past few years called the Back to School Shoe Program. We're making sure that kids are ready to return to school this fall with brand new shoes and socks, school supplies, backpacks, and we are even doing vision screenings and ordering prescription glasses for those kids who need them. This is so much more than partnerships in new shoes, but it's also kids showing up to school ready to learn with confidence, being able to see the instruction, and really feeling good about themselves and having a nice solid pair of shoes on their feet. We received uh, lots of grants this year from multiple different um, partners just to cover some of our costs. Um, just wanted to mention Golden Shoes and our partnership with New Balance um, really makes these, these shoes go a long way for each kiddo in the region. And of course our volunteers, we couldn't do this work without our volunteers. That's the labor behind all of this. We have these great ideas and then we have just wonderful volunteers that actually executes it and works one-on-one -on -one with families. So we serve the five county region. We just started doing the five county region in about the last three or four years. Prior to that we were doing Grand Traverse County because that's kind of the, the big hub. But what we recognized is some of those outer counties, those people just can't make it to us. We're a 45 minute drive and you know with the cost of gas, things like that. So we, we decided to take it on the road. Uh, we've been doing that for four years now. Prior to that they were doing it about 15 or 20 years. Um, um, where they were doing it right here on, um, on site. So last week we hit all of those outer counties. Um, we took our truck, we loaded it, we set up shop for the day, we started it over the very next day. And this week it's all in Grand Traverse County, um, serving of course more people because more people live here. And it's just, uh, it's a pretty great event. These families are so grateful. We come up every year to join um, with Father Fred during their back to school drive. We absolutely love this partnership. What Father Fred does, the hours that they spend putting this event together to be able to provide shoes to the community and back to school book bags and um, supplies is amazing and we uh, add to that by being able to come up and screen the children for their vision and if these children fail we're able to see them on clinic. We have a doctor, we have the optician, and we're able to do a full eye exam, let the children pick out their glasses, and then we ship them their glasses within two to three weeks after their exam is done. So they get the whole process during this one event, and they don't have to go anywhere else. If they have any problems, we um, definitely refer them out to another eye doctor to make sure that that's continued to be followed up with. It is truly a event that I am very passionate about, and the people people that are working so hard to keep this event going and growing um, really put their blood, sweat, and tears into it. A couple of our partner organizations have really just stepped up and done so much. Not only do our partners do fundraising for us or collect items for us, but we've got a great partnership with Centennial Wealth. They've done so much for us in the past. Um, last year they joined forces with us and served each one of those kiddos. This year they're back. And I'm telling you what, their sleeves are rolled up, they're on their knees, they're helping every kid that needs a new pair of shoes. I wanna always mention the community because without the community support, we're a private nonprofit organization that truly is grassroots. We don't receive government funding of any sort. So, you know, I just ask that the community continues to think about us um, when they're looking for places to support.